Okay, now in our old business, um, item A uh, was tabled at last meeting and brought back tonight, uh, Franklin Common Council resolution regarding Johnson County Library general obligation bonds. Uh, turn the floor back over to representatives from the library to uh, bring you up to date on where they may be on this request. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, for the record, since I assume you record things, my name is J. Daffy. I'm the library's attorney. Uh, thank you for having us back on the agenda. Uh, two things. When we were here before, uh, we mentioned to you some uncertainty uh, about whether the library was a city library or a county library. And because of that, we had, uh, uh, we're going before both bodies uh, with the uh, petition to issue general obligation bonds. Uh, since that time, we have researched some old records and we have satisfied ourselves and Bond Council that the library is a city library, notwithstanding its name, uh, and that uh, county approval for the bonds is not needed. But uh, since we had raised that issue with you last time, uh, we thought it appropriate to mention that first thing. Uh, one other uh, thing. Uh, we closed, the library closed on a piece of property today, and we're just letting you know that it is not related to uh, whatever may occur here in the sense that the library intended to buy it in any event. But uh, since rumors are go around and around, uh, we thought it, it was simpler to mention it now than to have someone say, well, what about this piece of property? It's the uh, apartment building uh, or the house, if you will, next to the old Wiry service station uh, on the south side, 199 South Main, uh, which the library was buying for parking, parking for its administrative services building, notwithstanding whatever may or may not occur with regard to a new library or bond issue. And simply, we thought it was simpler to mention that to you now than to have it someone say, what about that building? Aren't you already out buying land for the new library? Uh, with that, um, we're ready to take any questions that the council might have and invite, uh, with regard to the information that we uh, passed out at the last meeting or questions that you may have uh, thought of since that meeting. Okay. We have uh, questions from the council before we open up for, I assume we want to open back up for any further public comment. And before that, are there questions from council at this time, or you want to hold them to like a public comment? In, in the event uh, that this does move forward to a referendum, then it would be a city referendum, not a county referendum? No, that would be a county-wide referendum because it is, uh, even though the body that has to approve the issuance of bonds is this body, the referendum would be a county referendum. I didn't write the laws. <laughs> if, if you find some perhaps lack of logic in that, uh, I would uh, not disagree with that. Do you have any idea on areas in town for a building of that magnitude? I mean, surely, are, are they looking at certain areas? We are, we are looking at areas we really don't want to discuss them. One thing we've already run into with one area which is well known is that the, the value of some of those properties uh, in the opinion of the owner has climbed precipitously uh, from what they previously told the mayor, for example, that the properties are worth. I don't suppose it's possible to keep that a secret ultimately, but uh, the last thing you really want to do is tell let's let's say and I'm making this up that there were five areas we were looking at and if we were to identify those five areas the the values would climb dramatically I don't know if that would help to assess valuation or not or the taxes or not but, but we've already experienced that <clears throat> Bev, would you like to comment on the or somebody from your group comment about the budget or anything else that uh, has been brought up so far. Uh, two things. One was to uh, correct uh, a minor misstatement when I mentioned referendum. I said countywide. 
that would not include Old Greenwood or the City of Edinburgh, which have separate library districts. So it's the entire county excluding Greenwood as its boundaries existed 20 years ago. Not, not present Greenwood. Library district boundaries don't change as cities expand. So it does not include Greenwood as of roughly 20 years ago or so, or Edinburgh. Um, the second thing, in terms of um, what pieces of real estate and negotiating in public, I would simply point out that the uh, legislature in its wisdom explicitly allowed uh, negotiations and discussions of the purchase of real estate to be done in executive session for precisely the reason that the legislature saw the need not to have that be public when you were trying to buy real estate. Thank you. Hi, Beverly Martin, the director of the Johnson County Public Library. I'll try to um, address the two the 210 budgets because as we all know, we're sort of working to make them happen. We have our first meeting tomorrow evening as part of the regular board meeting to start looking at those proposed budgets that will then go for add to go to a public hearing on September 1st. And we won't be adopting our budgets until October 22nd. So in terms of the process of um, I'm really sorry, I'm not sure where Mr. Burton has gotten that information that it's out there and available because I was at my office until midnight last night working on it. So uh, I'm not sure. I hope that addresses that part of it. Um, the, other, the other issue being that um, what I think Mayor Paris made the point last time when we were having this discussion is, is that what the library has strived to do from the get-go and part of, as Craig pointed out, the idea that we sort of separated the two bond issues was that we were trying to keep a steady rate between 8 to 10 cents for the library and not to raise it high, low, but to keep it as a steady rate. And so this proposal to do the, the $2 million budget keeps our bonding status at its current four cents. And that being, I, I know I don't want to get into the, all the details of this, but trying to explain in this new arena that we find ourselves in, um, your budget has to stay constant. It doesn't seem to have any, the, the legislature's latest wisdom, just like this bringing a, a county library system before a city. I think some of you remember I was here maybe five years ago to talk about budgets because there was a quirk in the law at that time that got changed the next year, but we were still here talking about budgets that year just because um, there are some city libraries that um, I will use Fort Wayne as an example. Allen County was a legislative mandated county library system. Very different in the sense that the whole county is one system and there is still concern there that that library go before its city. Well, they're contiguous, they're the same, that makes sense. In a situation like ours and about 32 others in the state where we started out as a city library but have expanded through the years through federal programs and various bringing in territories that were not receiving library service, it makes more sense that we would go before a county in government. That is being worked on. Actually, we thought that language was in the cleanup bill before the legislature and it slipped through the cracks when we did the last minute. Cleanup. So, we are here. We are asking for consideration of this issue. We are trying to keep the rate constant uh, in terms of, you know, why are we continuing to ask for the $2 million? Because we feel like this truly is a chicken and egg situation. We cannot be planning and bringing on engineers, architects, etc., and design a building without some discussion of site. And at the same time, you know, eminent domain has been brought up. I think if anyone's been reading the law, this is not an easy process. It's a two-year process. It's one that we have no interest in using. Why would you want to create that kind of discourse in a community when you're trying to do something that's for the betterment of the community, something that you want to bring the community together on a project that, as you all know, I firmly believe can only bring good to this community. I guess I will sh share my two remarks today. I just was out and about, one at the closing, as BJ mentioned, to find some property so we have parking for my staff. And a young mother said to me, when are you going to get us a bigger, better library? I try taking my children there. I can hardly get in on some mornings because it's so busy. And it needs, I need more space. It's not clean. You know, when are you going to do that? I had another mother stop me this afternoon and said, you are planning us a new library. I know there are people that are not on board with this right now. I will try my hardest to help them understand why this is so critical. But I hope I have your support. 
I don't know, did I answer the budget questions?